Yo, back again with Mike Ellis. Today what we're doing, oil cat scan. So basically I got this on Amazon. Um, I will try to list the name. Um, it's red. So basically I'm gonna install it. Actually come with the cat scan and they come with two hoses. Uh, but these two hoses right here, you have to pre-cut it um, after you install this to measure what's going on. To measure, you know, to get the proper um, fitting. So basically what this does, you install it here and it dumps waste oil into the can that goes into the motor. So how you open this, you open it from the bottom, right? And this is where it'll dump the waste oil in here. And then basically you'll dump it out. It has a filter, you see what it is in here. Um, this is um, something I think Dodge should have basically um, installed into this um, powerful vehicle, but they didn't. So what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna put some grease around here. So just in case it try to seize up. So I have some grease here, multi-purpose grease. And I'm basically gonna put some grease, actually a little bit of grease, actually around here. So it don't lock up on me. Just a little bit. I'm crazy. So I can see I put some multi-purpose grease around the threading so it won't lock up. So I'm gonna put that back on here. Turn it upside down. So basically I did that so you know, it won't lock up when I need to take it out and check to see if it have any additional oil. All right, so stay with me. Let me try to install this. So basically, I kind of took off the um the cover, the valve cover casing right here. Um, this right here was right here. So I kind of like cheated a little bit and I started. These inserts here and here basically have to um go in. This is what actually came with, you know, the oil cash can. So I actually removed these two. Leave that right there, and I put in these two inserts. That's actually for the hoses, right? Put the oil cash can. I'm about to install the oil. Let me put it right here for now. So the oil cash can come with this bolt right here, and it actually installs right here. So actually, I'm gonna also put some multi-purpose multi grease on this right here also, because these things tend to seize up, like, when you gotta take it out, you know, they dry up. So you put some multi-purpose grease on it. Put a little bit more. Right. Okay. So now I'm gonna um this is the um this is an insert sleeve. So I'm gonna show you how it goes in here. No. First of all, it goes here, but you have to put this in here to screw, and then we're gonna put the sleeve in. So now it goes right here, right? So you need a um, size 12 metric socket. You may need an extension. And I also have a ratchet right here also to tighten it up. So we're gonna put this on first. I already pre-measured the hose, the hoses as I'm gonna show y'all. And we're gonna see what we do. So this goes in right here. Hopefully y'all can see me pretty decent. I don't have a cameraman today. So I'm gonna try to line this up here, try to get it in. I'm gonna get it in my hand. I'm gonna use the end of the socket. Try my best to turn it in. So I put the multi-purpose grease, as I said. I know what's gonna happen. You're gonna be driving for a while. And if you ever have to take this out, change it, upgrade to a new one, you want it to be easy to come out. You don't want it to be hard. So that's why that multi-purpose grease is very good. Free game, people. Because everybody on the arm that does the install on this is not going to tell you that because they may be just throwing on. But um, it's always good to put grease on the threading of everything you do. All right, so I basically got this kind of in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can snug it up. Let me see if this works. 
Let me get the last shirt. Tangled up so I kind of know where I stand with this. All right, you see what it is? So basically, it's gonna sit right here. Okay, so got two outlets here. I got one for here, one for here. So this is the hoses that came with. It came with two hoses already. Um, so I actually put this orange tape because I measured it. So this hose is gonna basically sit right here. So I have to maybe pre-measure it again. So it's basically gonna sit from like right here to right here, right? Let's check out the other one. The other one should sit from right here to somewhere right here. So this one is good. Let me see this one here. Let me pre-measure it again. So this one here is gonna sit to at least like right here. All right, so I'm gonna take this off. All right, and this is where I'm gonna cut, basically. So that's what I'm showing y'all. This to cut the holes. It's actually called a crimper, like a scissors. So I'm going to cut. Just open wide. Well, hey, one second, guys. Okay, guys, I cut the holes. So let's see how this works right here, right here. Okay. It could go over. That's one hose. Next hose. So let me put it here. To here, I think is good. Okay, let me cut it. Okay, so that one's cut. This one's cut, right? See what it look like? Okay. So I'm gonna take these coverings off. That's basically so it won't like shred up. So I should actually put a piece of tape over this. I got some tape here. up because we don't want this video to be too too long so we're gonna put some tape here basically so it won't um won't frail all over the place put the cap so the cap is on just cut this piece of tape off here so it don't look ugly take that off let's make the tape a little bit thinner Basically, when you get to this, is exactly what y'all gonna have to do. Figure it out, but you kind of have an idea through me. All right, so same thing with the other end. Just cut off here. I'm gonna put this here. Boom, boom, boom. And that one's good. Okay, so basically, this is already kind of snug already. So the only thing I have to do is just install the hose. We're gonna do that right now. So we're gonna start with this one. Right. 
pusher in, all the way in, that's not in, right? And then we're gonna do this one. All right, push it in. Okay. So you see you got like a little bit of arm play. So now I'm gonna tighten this up. So we won't have that play no more. Tighten up the oil catch can. So we're gonna put your one right there. Okay. So now we're gonna install the other hose. Push this in right here, boom, boom, boom. All the way in. Make sure all these hoses is all the way in. Basically, we just could. I could have cut this a little bit shorter. See, it kind of pull onto the side a little bit. All right, so this one here, let's see what this one is going to go higher than that. Head. So my guy fits in right here. Okay, tell me what y'all think. You see the cash can. So I could have maybe cut the holes a little bit more, but a little bit shorter, which I maybe still can. But y'all get the idea. So this is your all cash can. This is what it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna throw a cover on real quick. This rest of here, All right? So this is what it's gonna look like. But what I'm actually gonna do, I'm actually gonna pre-cut this a little bit shorter so it could sit a little bit better, you know? Sit a little bit more neater. And basically, this one here, this is it's cool how it look right there. I don't think it need to go any other way. I think it's perfect right here. What y'all think? Tell me what y'all think. But at the end of the day, y'all ready to see what it is? Or a cat scan, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Life will cool, Mike LS.